Yo, Please. check it out. Word, word, word. It's your boy Sunspot Jones. Yes. Living Legends. In the house. Right now, the juxtaposed party. See the white people saying goodbye to each other. <laughs> just kicking it over here. Just hanging out, hanging with y'all. Hell yeah, hell yeah. What you think of the ice cream truck? Yeah, that shit's nice right there. <laughs> Look at that mouth right there. Hell yeah. That's Jack Nicholson shit right there. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah China type shit. Yeah. Damn. That's just crazy. Yo, the Now You Know video. Somebody, somebody just found it and somebody just put it up off of their VHS copy. And then they got off the stop, look, and listen. So it's on the net, making rounds right now. I got to know, man, first of all. All right. Absolutely. I got to know. <laughs> first of all. <laughs> okay. Making that shit, first of all. <laughs> what led to deciding to pick pick the song and then make the video of the shit? What, why, why did, why, how did y'all pick that? It was just a song that all of us was on and there wasn't a lot of songs that we all did together. And uh, it was dope. It was the dopest fuck. It was one of them songs that motherfuckers really felt, felt from the beginning when we first made it. And then we, we I decided we'd make a video that would just all go all the way through with no cuts. Maybe right. one cut. And, and when we did that, that shit was just amazing. It was like dope. It was just innovative shit. That's what I'm into, just doing that innovative shit. was on upstairs we was unprepared for the next event but the circumstance left a cool sense of surprise eyes widened up when some speakers with the talents raise the mic in the clutch white smack in the middle of it all we continue with the smidget of patience to deliver follow these messages translated aided by a flow so similar to let yourself go freely on the stand still patience wearing thin but we wait so we don't so we hang slow rolling through the gate as we raise fine art through this fortune hip hop Undoubtedly rising to the top to be fresh equals me and my crew. The best way to kick it and forget about the blues of not being on TV. Summon up the skills of coming up to summon all sorts of creativity, testing your vicinity. The one cut thing that reminds me of like Kubrick or um, who else? Uh, mainly Kubrick. Okay, so what, would it, what, what got you on the one, the one cut long cut shit? Man, I was uh, smoking that weed. No, I'm, basically, it was just an idea that that um, oh, it, it was just an idea that uh, if we could possibly do something that was innovative and something different, because everybody was doing the basic video at that time and doing the female in the video, or the car in the video, mm -hmm. or, or some stupid ass shit. I was like, let's just do something hella innovative and different. Right, and make right. it just be fresh, you know what I mean? Right. Like, let's go, we all lived in a warehouse, and in a warehouse is like a little project, you know what I mean? It's uh -huh. like, everyone had that little dirty little fucking cubby hole. Uh -huh. So I was like, let's just go through everybody's little dirty ass cubby hole, and motherfuckers can see how motherfuckers live. So that's basically what it was, and you know, it's history now. We, yeah, we can't live together no more. These motherfuckers, <laughs> Merce is hella dirty, Grouch is hella grouchy, fucking, uh, I, I go down the list. Stop. That's another dirty thing. That's a whole other story, though. Yeah, well, so that, that was in the outhouse. What was like, first of all, how'd y'all come up on the outhouse? And then what was happening around that shit, like around that time? Like, you know, what, what was going in and out of the outhouse? Man, back then the outhouse was just a, a base, a, it was a hub of creativity. Hella people were there, you know, just putting shit together, always in the house. Motherfuckers was making music, and, and it was like not just one studio, not just two studios, it was like four or five studios. Yeah. Everybody's room, that little dirty cubby hole, was a studio. So it was a kind of thing that motherfuckers was doing shit, and it was like a spot that it emanated. You know, music, true art, true motherfuckers trying to put something together and make something new, innovate, like I said, you know what I mean? And it wasn't just white people, it wasn't just black people, it wasn't just Asian people, it was everybody. Like, you know, my boy Arado's from Japan, Grouch is white and Asian, Eli's white, fucking, um, you know, it's just... It's just a mix. It's it's the beauty of just putting everything together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Some more weed on this. Oh yeah, yeah. This is uncut. 
This is internet. <laughs> it's a couple of things in particular about the video I want to ask about. You can be as particular or as vague as you want. First of all, the shot between Eli's verse to your verse, the right. aerial shot. Right, right. How the how did y'all do that? <laughs> Get in the boot when I fish the lake. No permanent residence, so I partake on a search. A bird without a perch, specifically a crow lost in the hot snow. No nest, no money to invest. Scraping wood chips, jobs with resin, mostly sets. A little bit less than happy. I keep my penmanship on point. I said what I meant, keeping two fingers to the joint. Wake up! I hate it giving the DJ my shit. But all night you wanna ride the East Coast dick. Get off. That's why I stopped going to cream and beach frisco. That's why I never came. Actually, it was like this, cause his room was right here, my room was like this, and, and we're on the same level. You know what I'm saying? But but like we had to have someone be at the top of his room and, and grab the camera and do like this and bring it to the person over there. Wow. It looked like in a, a birdhouse ass room. And, and they would take it, and they took it up, and it was like boom. That was just crazy. It was just That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. So, um, what can you list like uh, videos, you, videos and projects that you have directed? Man, it's it's a lot of shit. Kind of like, uh, all I mean, it's like all the Mystic Journeyman videos. I directed all those, wrote them all, um, produced all the songs. Mm. Um, a, a couple of Living Legends videos I produced. I made I made a short resin. Mm. Um, the new Living Legends video, I'm hoping to direct that, you know mm. what I'm saying? And sing the chorus like the last one, you know what I mean? Just trying to just stay busy in the mix and, and keep it family, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just keep my family in the family. That's what we just trying to do. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, and then like we got the other movie, Sunny Dreamweaver, which is about a dude who buys minutes to his life on the mm. web, kind of how you buy uh, cell phone minutes, and, and this fool buys romance minutes and meets this female and, and falls in love with her and runs out of minutes. Mm. You can check that out on the web. Mm. Who all is on the, in that movie? It's uh, me, it's uh, Garrett Morris from Saturday Night Live. Okay. It's Simon Rex, also known as Dirt Nasty. Okay, all right. It's, uh, Lucky's in it. You know, um, a okay. lot of people, man. A lot of good people. So you got to check it out. Hell yeah. You got to yeah. check it out, son. Hell yeah. Son. <laughs> so, uh, what's on the horizon visually and musically and just anything creatively innovation. from Sunspot? Just innovation. Anything innovation. That's, that's what I'm going for. Anything innovation. Anything that's going to make something new and that's going to inspire me to do something new. Too. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. really, right now... Ain't nobody doing anything that's, that's dope, that's like really inspiring me to do something else. The only reason I want to see dope shit is because I want to be inspired to do more dope shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I live off of what you feed me when it comes to creativity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and as long as my fuckers remember that, you know, we're always going to be good. But I don't see that happening a lot, you know, and I look for it in different realms because I just don't listen to hip hop. I just don't listen to rock. I just don't listen to, to folk music. You know what I mean? I listen to everything. You know what I mean? And, and like you know I'm trying to be in a mix with the creativity be a mix with everything mm -hmm. when this Gangsta Polka album come out <laughs> when this Gangsta Polka album come out uh, son trademark <laughs> trademark Trademark. 2010. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Control Destiny, Underground for Life, Living Legends, Mystic Journeyman, yeah. you know, Sunspot Jones. This is what we do. I live my life doing this every day. Yeah. Uh, where can they find you online? Sunspotjones.com, mm. MySpace, Sunspot Jones, Living Legends, MySpace, or just around you, at your house, near you. Yeah, hell yeah, cool. I'll be at the 7-Eleven. You'll be like, Sunspot, <laughs> what the fuck you know what I'm doing? I'm buying some beef turkeys. <laughs> hell yeah, cool. Well, from Culture King, we say thank you. Thank you very much, thank brother. You. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Hell yeah. Wow. Cool. Uh,